Hey everyone, today we are making a custom soap for one of my stores that carries my products in Maryland. They started using this custom soap. Um, they had wanted something when I first had my soaps in their store, uh, I guess about a year and a half it has been, and they had a, a custom fragrance blend that they liked to use, um, but I had to kind of figure out what how those scents were going to go together. Someone had, had made something for them or made a soap that they liked years ago and they wanted to try to duplicate the, the fragrance combination using certain essential oils. So I agreed to try to do that for them and what I ended up doing is this soap that you are watching me make today. So I blended together um, the oils that they gave me, lavender, patchouli, gardenia, lemon, orange, and a little bit of pine, and I may be missing something there, and it made the, the oil blend. So this is my third batch of this soap, so obviously it is it has gone well. I just started making it for them, I believe, in January, and what I decided to do was do three different colors. So. Um, you can see me dividing the batch here right now. I'm mixing it up into the three colors that goes with their branding. They have a really nice store down in Maryland. It's actually more of a gallery, and they carry my soaps there. So um, they have the, from everything um, to the sign out front, it is all in this pink and lime and black color scheme. So I'm mixing up some black with activated charcoal and now I am mixing up the pink that goes with um, the pink in their brand and in a moment you'll see me do the final color which is the lime so the whole batch is divided into these three colors which I will then go ahead and put together. This soap normally um, is something that I pour and it's a little more fluid, a little more liquid, but I'm working a little bit warm today only because of time, which is okay. So I'm just using my uh, mixing wand here to put the, the line together, and then we will move over to the molds. I make this soap just in a very small batch, 16 bars at a time, and you'll actually see me go ahead and cut the soap after after we're finished making it today too. So I'm just pouring in a layer of pink and you'll see that the soap is a little bit thick but it it's not hard to work with. It just means that instead of pouring the swirl that, um, that I'm going to go ahead and use a spoon to kind of move things through. So you can't really see the pink, it blends with the mold, but there is a layer of pink in there already and now we are pouring in some lime green and again it has this um, this custom scent in there so the greens going in the soap is beginning to thicken up which again is fine um, only working with two very small molds it's nice for me sometimes to be able to work in small batches like this so I appreciate having this kind of order so what I'm doing now is just um, taking the spoon and going around and around um, to kind of move it through, but I want them to be kind of thicker swirls, so that's what I'm working on, and then the black goes on top, and I'll do the, the same thing, just kind of spoon swirl that right through. So the black um, is a little bit less in volume than the lime and the pink. So we're, we're moving it through. You can see me kind of slowly swirling the soap through. And it's not a lot to look at right now, but it does turn out really pretty in the end. So I saved some of the pink and put it on the top, and then I'm just taking a um, tongue depressor and going through and creating a swirl effect for that. And then I just go ahead and bang down the molds and spray the top with rubbing alcohol. And in a moment, so I'm 
banging the molds down now. So in a moment we are going to cut the soap. Okay, so it has been 24 hours. The soap was, um, was covered and then allowed to sit. And there are two small logs and you can see the effect of the swirl there. So, so far I've been pretty pleased with these soaps. This shop again is um, one of my shops and it's in the state of Maryland, which isn't too far from where I live. They sell primarily art. It's an art gallery and I um, was hesitant at first to to put my soaps in there, but they did have someone who had sold soaps there before and they were ready to make a change. I had met one of the owners. It's a group of three women who owns this gallery. And I met one of them at a wine gallery um, in, it wasn't, not December of 2018, it was December of 2017. And we were selling alongside one another during this tasting over the holidays that we were both invited to. And that is how I was able to learn about their shop and they invited me down to have my soaps there. So, so far it has been a great relationship. I've done some, even some pop-ups there and the soaps have sold really well. So I have my own soaps in my boxes and my other products there, which they go ahead and display for me. I sell on consignment, which is what I do in a lot of my stores and it works very well. But this soap is again, the um, custom requests. So what I did was, you can see this stamp right here. I actually special ordered from another seller on Etsy a stamp and I had actually put their logo on the stamp and ordered that to kind of surprise them for the custom soap. So that way every bar they have now has a stamp on it too. So that's it for today's video. Join us again next Thursday and don't forget to hit subscribe.